Hello folks, I'm going to talk about uh, CAT 2026 and how should you, how should you prepare for that. And so, uh, before we go there, there's, a, there's an idea about uh, kind of high performance mindsets, that's very important. And so, uh, there is, if you, whenever you're preparing or when you're gearing for any new activity, whenever you're, uh, uh, you're learning music or you're, you're getting used to playing football or uh, 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 learning to play a musical instrument, anything, anything new you pick. Right? So, in learning, I would define it as kind of two parts. Right? So, current skill set. Right? So, skill set level. Right? So, this is low. This is high. Right? So, this I would call as what sports people really like to call it as ceiling. Right? So, low ceiling, high ceiling. And so it's very, very important to think about all of us want to be here where our current skill set is high. And so the, the idea there are some activities that that amp up your performance in what you already do. And there are some activities that make you uncomfortable with what you do, but your ceiling, your, your thing for how high you can go keeps going higher. And so uh, performance in what you already know right? uh, is, is what are the set of skills that you have. I am putting it as this axis. Right? How high your ceiling can be is this axis. And so, very, very important to, to choose activities that take you here and here, both axes. Right? And when you are starting preparation, it is super important to aim in this axis than even in this axis. Don't get better and better at the five things that you are good at. Make sure that you have the range in you to go very far. And so, there are some guys who are monstrously quick but can never score more than 98 percentile in quant because out of the 22 questions, there are six or seven for which they simply can't, cannot grab the nuance. They will multiply, divide and find the equation and solve. So, they will They'll, they'll realize that their score goes higher and higher and higher, but they haven't built the muscle to have a shot at 99 percentile. And so, build the muscle that gives you a higher ceiling. Some activities push the ceiling, some activities push your performance in what you already know. And so, what, what pushes you on this axis? And so, stuff like uh, multiplication, stuff like measuring your reading speed and so uh, lots of solving there are there, there, there short term bursts so you you you're learning lots of shortcuts and so in your sweet spot how can you do something quicker that 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 comes here and so uh, I would even say more exercises like saying isolated exercise of doing RC after RC after RC. And if you are saying look only thing I will do in exam RC is get tested, I am going to do 4 RCs per day, 300 days, 1200 RCs, how much more can someone do? I am going to be the king, does not work. Doing RCs and RCs and RC after RC after RC makes you uh, get consumed in one type of thing, getting better and better at it but does not give you the high ceiling, the depth of understanding, the, the field that you look at when reading uh, while, while tackling slightly trickier ones. You are not going to get one of those 1200, you are getting to looking to equip yourself to be better prepared for the n plus 1. Thing. And what helps? And so, what we are going to take you like this? And so, reading range, and the, the sheer variety of what you read in terms of uh, topics, in terms of article length in terms of sources, in terms of genres, uh, some some novels can just reshape your brain and enormously if you pick the, the right author, five, five authors, five books by that author can just transform you. My favorite author in that category is P. G. Woodhouse and I never, never, never got humor in written form at all. For me, uh, funny was what I saw in movies, funny things. And you didn't read funny things. You saw, you saw the guy moving to either slapstick or visual or situational or 
or, or script driven, mostly script driven. I was drawn to script driven comedy, but I simply could never appreciate written novel form comedy. And so I had to power through two PG Udo's novels because it's not gripping for the raw reader. I'm a gigantic fan. And the way he can play with words is brilliant. And so the reading range, the, the door called, oh, this can be extremely comical based on just reading something, not necessarily any other input, was open for me. And that's a giant door. And so reading alone is not going to help, reading range. And some, some good author, Arvind Adiga, just a breakthrough author for me. He made me think on a whole different thing about, about India, about capitalism, about society, everything. And so, so, so there are lots of layers that good quality reading can bring. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bit partial to novels, high quality novels, because the, some authors spend enormous amount of time in carving out a novel. Uh, in, in ways in a blog or an article or a tweet can, can never, never really compete with. And so, reading range is going to push you there. And so, learning fundamentals in math. There's a beautiful question about um, the, uh, it said that the three sides of a triangle are an arithmetic progression. What can we say about three altitudes of a triangle? Very interesting question. They were, will they be in AP? Will they be in GP? Will they be in harmonic progression? None of these, all of that. And so, it's a very beautiful formula in, in uh, and it just says area of a triangle is R into S. And so, nice. It's also equal to half into base into height. These two are linked. You know one, you can derive the other. And so, because I know this and I see how it is derived in that, I could answer that question about arithmetic progression for uh, uh, sides and what will the altitudes be in. Because, because knowing this proof and how they are linked, kind of opens your mind to, hey, there's something beautiful here. Some tricky question comes, you have the range to hang in there and say, look, I can figure this out. I don't need a formula for this. This is a whole new thing, but I know I can back myself. Knowing a basket of formulae and then executing them relentlessly is here. Knowing, picking up the skill set to figure out the n plus 1 th template or the non-template question is here. Both are important. It's a competitive exam. If you say I'm a master at this, but I'm not quick enough at this, you'll get murdered by the speed merchants. So you'll be the guy who says, look, I can do 10 questions in, in a 22 question quant exam, even if the questions are really difficult. I can even do 12. And there's a guy who says, look, I can't even understand 7 questions. I don't know how to do. The remaining 15, I'll find 11 and I'll finish them off and get all of them right in 35 minutes. You can't compete with them. And so you need to do the drill, speed building, the, the intensity driving, the stamina building, quickly being intense, the machine, this part. And, but you need to have levels here as well. And to give you a, a parallel, there will be in cricket, if you watch uh, T20, there will be some hitters, batsmen, who can talk three sixes, two sixes, that you can just twack and unload on them. You can just twack you and hit you, hit average bowlers for 20, 22 runs in an over. Right? They are just big hitters. Right? These guys, if they are facing one over of Bumra or Stain, they cannot get the ball outside the 30-yard box. They are tonkers of average bowling, but they don't have it in them to play high-quality bowling. Then there are guys who can tonk Bumra. They have the mechanism to handle the really big challenge. They'll also need to learn how to hit success of your joke bowler. Otherwise, they can't compete. But that gear is special. And so if you really are saying, look, I'm, I'm, I want to get 98, 99% percentile. I want to be in the, 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 the so-called creme de la creme, then this is important, not sufficient. This is important. And if you have this, adding this is easy. If you become a speed merchant, a gimmicky, shortcutty, templatey, add these layers and layers and layers and do that, then after a point, the scores will plateau here. Whereas if you have this, if your fundas are there, if your ability and confidence to figure out new things is built in, is baked in, then adding speed comes naturally. You have seen so many sports movies where the coach says you learn the way I want you to learn. I don't care. You can't compete now. I'm getting you prepared to compete in June, in July. And then they'll lose and lose and lose. But then they're getting something in place. And once it falls in place in the final four matches, nobody can compete with them because they've, they've 
gelled based of all the simple rhythms that, that they have done. You've seen now, uh, ah, Karate Kid. This, 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 this. And this, this funda is being built. The, the simple processes are getting built. And then learning like this, not competing, gets you ready to have that gear where you can focus and concentrate and do all kinds of things. Obviously, it's a, it's a, it's a <coughs> not an obvious parallel, but strong fundamentals set you up to compete, even if you have not learned the tricky, uh, gimmicky things. And so keep that in mind. Do not sacrifice this. This exam is getting tougher. You can learn these and get cooked, absolutely. You learn this, you won't get cooked. You still survive even in a, in a, in a tough, cranky paper. And so keep that in mind, especially those who are starting with a 10 month, 12 month window of preparation. You have the time, you have the luxury to say, I'm going to not just maximize how I can score with how my what my brain is capable of. I'm going to expand the boundaries of what my brain is capable of and then push those boundaries and then maximize what it can, what potential it can, it has then reached. It's very important to back yourself to find that. Right? So, okay, best wishes.